All right, guys, it is Greg again. I'm going over with an update with Kusama. If you like the uh, polka dot ecosystem, this right here is the bad boy of the polka dot ecosystem, Kusama. Now, let me let me show you guys something right here with Kusama. Um, people talk about like maybe Hex went up 20,000% or this coin went up 10,000% or this coin went up, you know, whatever percent. Look at this coin, guys. They didn't ever mention anything about this coin. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. 61,000%. Now, that, my friends, is a moonshot. Now the question is, what Kusama did over here, can it do it over here? Well, it's not gonna get as much percentage gains over here, but I'm thinking it's gonna do some pretty good gains over here, guys, when the market goes bullish, okay? And even if Bitcoin is in a corrective bounce, let's say Bitcoin is over here and it does some massive corrective bounce, this bad boy right here will still go up pretty good. Um, you watch and plus it has limited supply and everything. I really do like this coin and uh, it's at a really, really good price. It, it went down, I think, to $42. I was kind of expecting it to go down. And uh, with this coin, Kusama, you know, it's in my target area. I was kind of hoping for 22 to 20, you know, maybe, you know, I get, I get greedy on the way down. See, that's my issue. You know, I like to get greedy this way. But, uh, you know, this area and up to there to a $900 target, which it will, uh, in my opinion, in a bullish market, cryptocurrency market, it will easily break 536. So it'll break 601 and hit right there for 4,000% gain. You are looking at a potential 40X when and only when the cryptocurrency market goes bullish. Okay. So this is looking really good. Now let's check out a few things. You know, it has a shallow retracement, which is, uh, you can look at that as good or bad. Um, that's, that's one of the issues on logarithmic scale. You know, it's a shallow retracement, 0.382. I don't like that. You really want to see 50%, guys. You really do. Um, take it off log and things start to look a, little, a lot better. You know, some people use this method and it does look good. You know, some people will tell you, oh, the correction's over using this method. Um, you know, this is really the area that I think that if it's going to make a bottom, it'll be like right here, guys, like boom, right there, in my opinion. So, and that would be a much better correction. Now, the other thing is, too, that you want to do is, you know, just because that's shallow retracement, you want to take your uh, thing. So here's the peak. Take your, uh, how much percentage did it go down? Let's take a look at that. Okay, so right now it's 93% with a potential 94% 90, correction, more or less. Sounds pretty good to me, right? That's when you want to buy coins. Guess what, guys? You're not in a seller's market. You're coming up and you're probably already in a buyer's market. So let's break this down. I'm gonna break this down right here. This is, this. just pay attention to this leg. So what I like to do, I break things down. You got the whole correction, then you have this, this, this leg right here. It's gotta finish this leg, okay? So this is a sequence it's doing. I'll show you, this is the sequence right here. It's a, it's a zigzag, okay? It did, is, it's doing a zigzag. And what this means right here with Kusama, it did this massive wave run. Here, I'll break this down for you. This massive wave run. It came down and did this correction. So what's hap what happened here in this correction is all this momentum, boom, I mean, massive, massive amount of momentum. It comes down to do this correction right here. It doesn't go very low. And then it gets into this area. It traps people in. This is a typical B wave correction that traps people in, okay? And it had a massive move. You see a massive move here, boom to boom, almost 300% and gets people in there. So it didn't go deep here and then it's over here. It goes up a little bit more and it does this three wave zigzag, boom, to finish it off. That's what, it's, that's what it does. That's how these corrections like that work. And um, so, it, so far so good, it looks good. It does have a couple of uh, issues, you know, I don't, I think it should be deeper. That's just me though. 
maybe some people don't think it, you know, maybe your opinion is, hey, it's deep enough for me, but hey, let's let's roll with it. You know, I, I like the coin. I like the coin. And um, and I'm going to be looking to probably snag a little bit of this coin coming up. If Bitcoin is going to do a ni- another dip, I'm going to go ahead and, and get this. And look at all the space it has left. Like it has to go all the way down here to go to zero, guys. So um, very good coin. I like the polka dot ecosystem because polka dot is huge on security. And I think we've if you've been in this crypto bear cycle, you probably know by now security is big, very, very important. So the polka dot has the advantage there. You know, some of the coins in the polka dot ecosystem might not be fast movers. Um, but you know, they're, they're going for security first. So sometimes you can look at it from investors point of view. Hey, I want solid gains. I want solid gains. I'm going to get a five X or, you know, six or seven or eight X or something like that. in the polka dot knowing this stuff is a little bit more secure rather than chasing those, you know, uh, the fifties, the tens and twenties and 30 X is over in some unsecure thing and your money gets taken, you know, look at Luna UST. How many people said that that was the greatest thing since sliced bread? All these YouTubers are on there saying, oh, it's so good. Luna is great. The guy is uh, the guy running it is so smart, you know, and I'm not going to mention names on YouTube, but you guys know who I'm talking about. Just go look at the list of the top YouTubers with over 200,000 followers. And they just, you know, oh, I put it in my compendium score and it's doing really well. I'm going to get some Luna, right? Okay. Look at it now, guys. Look at it now. So. I go in off the uh, technicals. Take a look at this leg and break it down a little bit. I'm going to go to the eight hour chart because Kusama has wild swings and um, it's it's uh, difficult to go down the chart. Now, if you take a look at this leg here, I'm going to show you guys something. OK, so we know this is ABC. So this should be five waves. You can see this is three. That's the third wave peak. I don't want to say peak, but you see that's the third wave. So does that look complete to you? Does that look complete? We need a five wave swing to complete that. So we have one, two, three, four, and then it's in a fifth wave. I don't think that's a connector because you see, you see how big this second wave is. And then this is a fourth wave. This is a fourth wave right here. So this second wave won't take as long. It'll just be like down and then boom. And then it comes down a third. These things take a long time. It just sits in there and grind, 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 grind like that and then do it. So now it's in this. So that, that's probably not a connector. Some people on YouTube say, oh, that's a connector, Greg. I don't think so, guys. Because here's your third wave. And, and it just, it all makes sense to me. And you can even check the fibs. That was a deep, deep retrace, uh, deep uh, drop on that. You can see, yeah, look at that, 3.618. And it's just, this is, yeah, this has got to be the end of the correction for Kusama. It's just finishing it off right here, guys. Boom. And then boom. So let's see. Now here, it would be one, two, and then a three. So let's break down that leg. You see, here's the peak. So that's the third. Now we're in the fifth wave. The fourth wave correction, now we're in the fifth wave, and it's dragging it back up. And... It's probably another massive fourth wave correction, guys, like that or something like that. I mean, it could be over, but to me, it just it looks like the sequence isn't complete. It could be over. So that's the whole thing. I still think there'd be at least like right there, $42 or something like that. Because this, this wave, this wave right here is getting a little bit big. You know, maybe it's like that. You know, that still is about the same size as right there, guys. So I'm going to say like right there, 42, you know, maybe as low as 39 or this in this area. And uh, that would complete the sequence. Now let's check something else out. The RSI looks good. A couple more things for you to look it out. So you get pick up Kusama for, say, 40 bucks and ride it up to $900 from the next uh, bull cycle and make money. Make money. This channel is going to get the followers rich instead of wrecked okay so if you're tired of getting wrecked follow this channel and get rich and not wrecked you'd be if you're following this channel you'd be in usdc looking for buying opportunities right now so let's see one two three um we'll break down this uh this whole zigzag 
So zigzag, let's see here, fib extension. We're gonna go there to there. So zigzags like to do about a one-to-one. -one. So this leg will be equal to this leg, okay? So what that means is, I'll break it down for those. Here's your A, here's your B, here's your C. So this five-weight move on a zigzag likes to be equal. They like to be equal. So equal in size right here, this is your connector. That's how they work usually. Sometimes they go seven, eight, six. Uh, one, um, this can go, you know, six, one, eight, seven, eight, six. Um, one to one is the most common. And then it can go like to 1.618, but it, it's usually it's usually the flat. When you see them like this, this is the flat, guys. This is what this is what gets people, you know, wrecked. These flats go boom like that. Okay. So that's different. We're not looking at a flat, we're looking at a zigzag. And you can see, look at that. Look at that. There's the one-to-one -one right there. Right there. What is that? $41. Oh, I just missed it. I bet it's going to go right there, guys. Yeah, 41, 42. Somewhere right in that area. Maybe right in that area, guys. That's where it's going to go, more than likely. Now, you got to remember, it can't, you know, I don't, yeah, it's not going to zoom down there. That that wouldn't even make any sense. That fifth wave's not going to get that long. I mean, it could go like that, guys, or something like that. You know, you have to be aware of that. Um, so it looks good. Kusama looks good. Let's check out the RSI on the uh, higher time frame, starting with the daily and see how it looks for Kusama. You know, this is, uh, this thing blew away hex, man. I'll keep talk about hex. This right here, man, is like, wow. That's, uh, okay, that looks pretty good. It's, it's coming down in a massive five wave move. So there's gonna be divergence in that leg. So that's okay. There's gonna be divergence there, but that, that came down nice, nice on the daily. Let's check the three day, check it out. Okay, yeah, let's see that on the three day, it took out the whole cycle, guys. It, it reset its whole cycle. So here's this lowest peak right here, and then it took it out. So it reset its cycle. It's getting ready to do a run. Four day chart, it's about equal. So you could say it reset that cycle. And then take a look at the weekly. Okay, the weekly is, uh, is that from the same spot? Yeah, it's probably the same. It reset its cycle, guys. Everything looks good. Um, probably just have to be a little bit more patient, waiting for the uh, for Bitcoin and Ethereum and the other markets to go bullish. Like I said too, with Kusama, uh, if Bitcoin's in like some sort of corrective bounce, this thing is gonna this Kusama. It's down here. It's still gonna do like a two x or a three x. I mean, check this out, guys. Right here. Look at this. I'm going to show you something right here. If you see this, you would have picked it up down here. Just let's say you, you missed it a little bit at 125. You could have rode that thing up to, you know, like $200 right there, guys, for a 60% gain just on that bounce. And, uh, you know, look at the bounce right here, guys. This is uh, this bounce right here on Kusama. Boom. So you're looking at what? Comes down, completes it, and it does a bounce. You know, it can do a bounce to $150, $200, guys. Serious, man. This is what Kusama, it's a bad boy, the polka dot ecosystem. So, you know, you don't want to, I like, I don't know, man. This coin doesn't get a lot of love. I'm not really too sure why, man. It's a good coin. All right, guys, that's the end of my video. If you made it all the way to the end, I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Oh, before I forget, I keep forgetting that. Smash the like button and, and the uh, subscribe button. Peace.